Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Redstone Workshop. RJ and Nick here and today I'm going to be showing you something that's pretty cool. Now let's first start off by showing you again what a redstone clock is. Basically if you put down redstone repeaters these little if you right click on it you'll see that these little bars move back and that basically delays the redstone frequency or the redstone signal that it gets so normally if you have two set up like this you'll notice that the first one turns on and then the second one turns on so if you hook them on the second setting or even the first or actually it's really the third setting second or third second is a little fast but this setting here works pretty well but basically if you make a loop out of them hook the inputs to each other's outputs and then put a torch down and then break, whoops, that didn't work. Let's put it on this one. If you put a torch down right away and then break it, it'll basically just keep blinking back and forth. And what you can use that for is um, something like this. So basically now it's just going to keep operating that sticky piston over and over and over and over and over again. So kind of annoying, but you could put one in this one here and now they're going opposite. Or, you know, there's other stuff you could do as well, but um, I just want to create that real quick just to remind you guys about a redstone clock. Now, you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with anything? And I'm going to show you. Basically, what I've done is I've made a wireless, or not a wireless, a modless teleportation system. So, as you can see, way up there is a little platform, and you can't tell from down here. Maybe if I run back this way. Yeah, you can't really see. There's a little house up there. So that's my house. And normally if you wanted to build a house up that high, you'd need to have a giant staircase going up or you would need a ladder or a waterfall or something you could climb up to get into that with. So this is a lot faster of an option. As you can see, this is the teleportation pad and this here is the return pad. And I'm going to show you how this works. Basically all you do is step in here and now I get teleported up top here. So pretty sweet and as you can see there's the same thing up here the return pad and the teleportation pad and now I'm in my little house so pretty cool as you can see if I look down there's the pads that I use to get up here with and I'm going to step on this one and whoops get in there there we go and now I'm back at the bottom so pretty cool the way this works is if I break away this dirt here you'll see that there's a redstone clock just kind of sitting there blinking. And what that does is it sends a signal to this command block, which basically has this command here in there. It says slash TP, which is basically, which means teleport, at P, which means the target nearest it, and R equals 1 means within one block, and it will teleport them to these coordinates. So what happens is every time that this, red, or this command block receives the redstone signal, it'll run this command. So it will check to see if there's a player within one block away, and if there is, then it will teleport them to these coordinates. Now, before 1.8, you used to be able to put it at one block away, and you used to have a solid block that you could put here, and you would just walk onto it, and it would teleport you. Well, they changed something now so that in order for it to work, you have to have a half slab or you have to increase the range. But if you increase the range to two, then basically as soon as you hit right about where I'm standing right now, it'll teleport you up there. So it was just kind of really annoying. And like I said, the way I found around it was just to make this little half block that you step in instead because it puts you within that one block range. So pretty cool. And uh, yeah, not really much to it, just a little bit of redstone. In order to get the command block, you have to say slash give your name and then command underscore block. It's not going to be listed in any of the search menus or any of the stuff up here. It's something you have to be given. I believe you have to be in creative to place it and use it anyway. So um, keep that in mind. But if you wanted to have like a teleportation hub on your server, you could have signs that say, you know, go here to go to this zone. And if you put the range to two on this block, so like if you just wanted to have a nether portal or something behind it, then you could change the range to two. That way, as soon as anyone gets within, you know, any, like if you had another portal right back there, as soon as you get right here, it's going to teleport you to wherever you need to go. 
Um, so if I walk up slowly, you can see how far away I really was when I got teleported. So hopefully they fix that so you can keep the one block range and not have to be um, needing the half block on top of it. But I'm sure they'll get to it eventually. Anyways, for now, I mean, the theory behind it is still the same. It still works. It's a great way to go um, major distances quickly or set up all kinds of other commands. So pretty simple. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, I like it because it allows you to get to places a lot quicker. If you had a survival server, you could have, um, you know, someone put this down for you and you could have them uh, create teleportation stuff to random parts of the map or, you know, into your own home or secret cave or something like that too. So it's pretty cool. A lot of different things you can do to it. There's no way I could ever cover it all in one episode because there's so much that it can do. But I hope it helps you out, and I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check back in tomorrow for another episode, and let me know what you guys think of these videos. Also, make sure to uh, check out the trailer for my movie that I'm coming out with soon. If you haven't seen it, it's called The Pit, and the trailer should be somewhere on my channel. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again soon.